world, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a creative YouTuber that is really trying to like, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm trying to do. But today I'm going to do something that I haven't done in over a year and I'm going to do a first impression of an eyeshadow palette. If you didn't know this, I did have a no buy in 2022 and I didn't buy any more makeup than like just refills on stuff but I didn't buy any new eyeshadows and in the end of February I bought my first eyeshadow palettes in the very year and eyeshadow palettes I bought was the Moonfall and Halloween Bean from Shroud. Shroud is one of my absolute favorite brands and I did really want them. Uh, so yeah I'm going to test out Halloween Bean today. I'm going to do some look with the Moonfall I'm guessing. And if you didn't know, the Halloween, it looks like this. I haven't even taken off the plastic of the mirror. The Halloween looks like this. And this is the second collab between Betty Bean and Shroud. The first one, it's freaking best. It's one of my favorite palettes that I have in my collection. So yeah, I'm going to use this today. And... I'm thinking about doing something orange and using this ghastly or wicked. I think this one. So this one, these and this one. So I'm going to apply my eyes and then I guess we're just getting started. This palette did came out. I think it was in October. Yeah, it must have been. And I was so, so like eager to buy it, but I didn't want to break my no buy. And it came back in stock in, I think, the last of February, it must be. So I bought it then. And I'm going to start with Loser's Club and take it in my crease. And like Betty Bean is one of my favorite when it comes to YouTube. Like, she inspires me uh, makeup style wise so much I think she has a really cool style and I really think that Betty Bean and uh, Shroud was a perfect match for a collab I just think that it is so so good and I just love Shroud's formula like last year I really did understand that Shroud was one of my absolute favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadows and this orange I really like it. It is dark but it's like not too uh, you know like dirty orange and it's not too bright I just think it's a really really good orange and I'm really happy with it and it's now I really don't know if I because I want to take this afterlife and I think I want to take this ghastly. I guess this is going to be pretty dark because they are doing amazing dark matte shadows. And maybe I want that and take afterlife and just make a really... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this one. And I can't like wait until I use this one. And uh, this looks like a duochrome. Okay, uh, I'm going to take gasoline. I'm going to take it in the outer part of my eye. We'll see like how dark this is. Yeah, it's dark. But it's also not like too dark. I do like really dark matte shadows, but I don't like when they are like too dark. Like I do like when you have to build them up instead of it like coming too much and can I stop saying like all the time? This looks really good. I don't know how much I want to take it in my crease. I'm going in with the orange again. Taking it a little bit in my crease just to even it out a little bit. Maybe like that. And it actually, actually feels a little bit strange to do a first impression again. As I said, it has been a long, long time. 
And I do going to cut my crease and do a half cut crease with my NYX Glitter Primer and take this afterlife with shroud like you don't have to cut your crease but i think it's so much easier to actually do it and you do have more control over your little eyeshadow and as you may know i haven't been putting up that much videos the latest and i haven't been filming and i haven't done like any advanced makeup so I finally did clean my brushes, which feels very good. So I'm taking this little glitter primer. And I'm not like that. I think this is getting easier and easier the more you do it. Like to know your eye shape and... That's what you prefer. I'm always trying to cut it a little bit above my crease because I do have hooded eyes. Sometimes I succeed, sometimes maybe not. And I'm taking it out on the dark matte one. And I'm tapping the edge with my finger. I'm going in with this afterlife and I'm expecting wonders. Shrouds, shimmers are amazing and yeah. This is also amazing. I don't know what they are doing with their shimmers, but uh, it is really something else. Like, I don't have any other shimmers, I think, in my collection that are like this consistent. Like, I haven't noticed any bad shimmers from Shroud, what I can remember. And I do have all their palettes with shimmers. And shimmers is just something that they do really, really, really good. And I do really like them. I'm going over with this a little bit. And then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. I have catter like everywhere. Going in in the matte orange. And take it in here. This shimmer is amazing. I love it so, so, so much. And I think that I'm actually going to do this eye off cam, doing my base. And I'm thinking about taking this Woodsboro, this one, uh, in my inner corners. Maybe spray it a little bit, pop it in my inner corners just to lighten it up a little bit. I... I think I will do that but I will fix everything and then I come back and my first like impression I think you know where this is going this is the finished look with the Betty Bean the Hello Bean palette and I love this for my face I did use the ordinary serum foundation I actually bought a new one they sold them out at H&M so I guess these are going out of stock, which makes me a little bit sad. I use this one. Um, and also this Bear With Me Serum Concealer from NYX. I think it is okay. Why am I talking about this? And also for my face, I did use my contour stick from Isadora. My Independence Blush from Nabla. My Ozone Highlight from Nabla. On my wash line I did use, I can never remember this name, Shebang from NYX and on my lips I did use Rapture from Lethal and I must like, I must say that I do love this look. I did use four colors. So I did use Loser's Club, Woodsboro, Ghastly and Afterlife and this Afterlife it looks amazing and together with this ghastly i just love it what i do really like about shroud is they can do really like dark shadows without them being black and i really really like that and yeah i i know that some people that i follow have talked about like how i must stop saying like it's just because I haven't speak English for such a long time. 
I know that people I follow have said that doing a review in a first impression is strange and I do agree with that but with Shroud I have tested almost all of their palettes except <laughs> Moonfall and Creepy Cute 2 so I know how their formula is and I know how the shadows do work and what I can say about this is that it works as the other palettes I do have from Shroud and I do really like it. I I just love Shroud's eyeshadows and you see this shimmery orange. This would have been an amazing palette to have to Halloween. It came out to Halloween of course which I did love but yeah I also know by. So I'm really happy about this look. I think it looks super great and it's going to be so fun to play with this more. I think I'm going to do a green look and then I don't know. I think a look with these would look really cool like this crease outer corner and yeah a half cut crease as I have today. I think that would look super amazing so you will definitely see more looks with this and I'm going to do a first impression with a moonfall as well. Maybe you won't see this. It did though break <laughs> on the way home to me. Artifact, this one did break. I did press it down so I hope it will hold. I will do a look with this one as well. But yeah, I do really hope that you liked this video and it was so strange in one way to do a first impression again. But it was so fun. I've been longing for this palette for, yeah since it came out. So yeah, I do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, Ines is sneezing. So if you, I hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. I hope that I will find like my way back to YouTube and start posting more again. I can't promise anything because I, I don't really know how I feel about it and about life. That is a whole nother story. I hope you have liked this and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.